Hi, this is John with Light of the Scripture, inoculating you against the woke mindset of this world with the Word of God, with the Bible. And today we're going to look at uh, a, a verse that doesn't get looked at real super often. This is uh, John uh, chapter 17, verse 16, and these are the words of Jesus. He was referring to his disciples, but uh, whenever we become followers of Jesus Christ, we fall into that category. And uh, he was praying uh, to God uh, shortly before his crucifixion, the, the night prior to his crucifixion. And uh, what was he praying for? Was he praying for himself? Um, no, not at this particular time. Um, he, there were prayers involving himself, but uh, the majority of his prayers involved uh, his disciples and uh, he, the compassion that he had for others. And so here he was praying, and he said, My prayer is not uh, that you take them out of this world, but you protect them from the evil one. So... Here we have Jesus actually, you know, speaking to God the Father, asking for us to have protection from the evil one. Who's the evil one? The evil one, is it, um, you know, some guy in, in Europe, you know, that's head of the World Economic Forum? Or uh, is it uh, a local politician or a national politician? No, it's not. It's talking about Satan himself. And uh, Satan is very real. Satan is a demonic angel. And he uh, actually was possibly an archangel who led uh, one-third of the angels in heaven uh, to be in rebellion against God. Then he came down to earth after mankind was created. Uh, well, actually, he might have been here before. But uh, he uh, now works to try to destroy uh, mankind because mankind is loved by God, made in God's image. And he's very, very jealous of that. And uh, so he works to try to kill, steal, and destroy mankind. And, uh, you know, Jesus knew that uh, he was uh, leaving his disciples on the earth, on this planet. Uh, he did have the power to take, him, take them up with him. But he had a job for them to do. And uh, they were to tell the world about him. Uh, so he wanted to leave them in this world, but he wanted them to be protected, wanted them to have supernatural protection. And, uh, you know, if you do not have a relationship with Jesus Christ and uh, have you not put your faith in God, then you don't have any protection against the, Satan, against the devil. And um, you might say, well, the devil, if he's an angel, he can only be at one place at one time. That's absolutely true. But he has literally millions of uh, de demons that are under him that can influence people. And a person can actually have one of those demons possess them if they do not know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. And uh, not only can they have uh, one of those demons possess them, but although that's a, a rare occurrence, uh, they can oppress individuals. Just make your life miserable. Bring, uh, you know, destruction and difficulties into your life. And we don't have any tools against them unless we have Jesus. But once we have Jesus in our life, once we are right with God, then uh, God answers the prayers of Christians that are living holy. And uh, he will, uh, whenever we face opposition from the enemy, then we can pray against that opposition, and God can handle it. And uh, we can be protected from the evil one. We can have many, many nights where we can get sound sleep, and uh, we don't have to be overcome uh, by our emotions. So uh, are you uh, facing difficulty from the evil one? Well, if life's... Uh, Life is basically, uh, you know, very, very difficult, very uh, empty. Then that's a possibility. But uh, we're uh, we don't want to be under the evil one's influence because uh, he's going to. Uh, there will be, he will come to an end, 
and will face judgment and will face punishment for all the evil that he has done. And uh, all those that are still in line with him, that are still doing the will of Satan, uh, will face that same punishment. That's hell. And it is real. And uh, God cannot allow any sin into heaven. But he wants to transform us. He wants to get us cleaned up to where he looks at us and he does not see sin. And that occurs when we receive Jesus Christ and the blood of Jesus Christ is applied to us. So I hope that you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and become a Christ follower today. Uh, this is John with Light of the Scripture encouraging you to get deep into the Word of God and let the Word of God get deep into you.